Hey guys, what's up? Um, I hope everybody's doing well and taking care. So I just wanted to jump on here, jump on this group to talk about mental health um, and self-care and self-love and boundaries. Um, so if anybody like knows is part of this group, um, I feel like a lot of us in this group are recovering from codependency and issues with lack of self-love, lack of self-trust, lack of self-esteem. So I just wanted to like hold some space at this time to talk about mental health and what that looks like on a day-to-day -day basis and kind of like bringing awareness to mental health. So um, I am a mental health therapist and I've worked in the mental health field for the past six years. I also am pretty open about my own issues with mental health. I've struggled from depression, from anxiety. Um, I've shared before that I was depressed for pretty much my entire life. Um, I struggled with anxiety my entire life. And um, I actually was just inspired by one of my clients today to talk more about this because Mental Health Awareness Day is coming up. Um, I want to check in the date, but I do know it's this month. And I think it's important for all of us to create a safe space for one another and to create a space where we all feel welcome and we all feel included. Um, I, sh I just like to share that like this space here in this group is sacred. So it's a sacred space for all of us to just be. And in that is expressing vulnerability. So I like to start with just sharing about my um, my issues with mental health, like I'm recovering from trauma, I'm recovering from all my mental health disorders. Um, and I think a lot of us have issues with mental health, but we don't know how to express it. We don't know how to talk about it. Um, you know, I wasn't able to talk about my emotions safely for years and just touching on codependency. So codependency is the codependency in the mental health world is a chronic people pleasing tendency where you put your needs before you put your needs underneath the needs of others so basically um, we don't realize we're doing it like for me I didn't realize I had developed codependency patterns um, but I did and uh, part of that was me replaying childhood dynamics and I work it's, it's really like that's the subconscious work that's the shadow work and then it's the conscious awareness so I've been working every day to try to set boundaries, to practice self-care, to practice self-love, um, to learn how to love my body, to learn how to love my mind. Um, you know, I've struggled with punishing my body for years, you know, um, through so many addictions and, you know, struggling with eating disorders and all of that. So this is why I just want to create this space to talk about mental health, you guys, because all this is normal, um, you know, like, mental health is normal vulnerability is normal being open about who you are is normal um so like depression and anxiety not even just that but a lot of us do um struggle with recovering from trauma so what happens when we're replaying these memories in our head or um we can disassociate we can become out of our body so part of my approach is integrating mindfulness and integrating yoga and meditation because we can learn how to be back in our bodies right so when we're looking at mental health and why it's important is because when we have symptoms of anxiety or depression we're not in the present moment right we're not right here right now we're either in the past or in the future so these are just things about mental health and what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis is um you know, I go through phases all the time where my mood shifts and I'm up and down, you know, I'm working on it wanting to regulate more. So that's, um, that's mental health and it's learning how to tap into our energy, how to tap into our bodies, how to tap into our breath. Um, some techniques that I like to share with my clients that I practice are meditation. I have to meditate every morning or my mindset is off. I find myself slipping into old patterns sleep right this is all self-care I didn't sleep well last night nope so I'm a little tired today and my mind's a little um, it's a little foggy so it's important for me to sleep a certain amount of hours every day 
so that I can show up fully in my business, right? And in just in life and in healing. Um, so we're all on this healing journey. That's all mental health is, is we're learning how to heal. We're coming back to ourselves. We're choosing to shift from subconscious to conscious. And we're coming right here in the present moment and loving everything out as we are and ourselves as we are. Um, so mental health, it impacts a lot of us on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, when we tap into kind of like what we're thinking about, what we're feeling, um, we have to start to talk about it as a generation to take the stigma away from it, say, um, I am having anxiety over this, or hey, I need some help today, I'm struggling today, um, I feel like I could use some support. Um, you know, so it, this is all healing and, and it's all learning how to ask for help. For me, part of my journey, um, I had been in therapy for years and then um, I, I needed to go back, but I struggled to ask for that help. Um, and therapy should be, the way I view therapy and, and mental health in general is if you're going to therapy, it's a proactive approach. That way it doesn't have to get reactive, there doesn't have to be a crisis. If you're going to therapy or just checking in with someone and whatever therapy you want you know it doesn't have to be you don't have to sit and talk to someone for me that didn't work I needed yoga I needed breath work I needed EFT these are all things that um, I teach my clients and that are important to talk about in mental health right the mind and the body are related I know I'm going on a lot of topics now but um, it's important that we normalize mental health because a healthy mental state is being fully present in our body and just channeling and speaking our truth, right? Like that's all it is, is opening our chakras too. This is all related. The mind, body, energy, mind, body, spirit, it's all related. So um, I just wanted to check in today to see like how you guys are doing mental health wise. I've kind of been going through some ups and downs myself. So um, I think it's important for all of us to connect especially with everything that's going on, is to just normalize mental health, take away the stigma, and also integrate spirituality and the body um, in the way we see mental health and practice self-care. That's important too. So um, just kind of let me know like how you all are doing. What are you doing to take care of yourself? What are you doing to prioritize your mental health? What are you doing um, as far as your spiritual hygiene, your spiritual routine? I'd love to hear more and um, just get to know you all better. So let me know if anything in this video resonated, if you have any other mental health topics you wanna to talk about. Um, we talk a lot about codependency, self-care, healing, law of attraction, spirituality in this group. So um, definitely check in, let me know what other topics you wanna to talk about. And I hope everybody has a really good day today and enjoy some sun. Peace and love, always.